hello how to solve n times n times n equals 1 over 27 we are solving for all values of n that will satisfy this equation so n times n is n power 2 times n this is n power 3 and this equals 1 over 27 now from here we can have n power 3 equals 1 we can express it as 1 power 3 which is the same thing as 1 divided by 4 27 we can have it as 3 power 3 so if you have a power c divided by b power c this equals a divided by b all to the power of c so we apply this identity right here that means we are going to have n power 3 equals 1 divided by 3 all to the power of 3. So from here, we are going to move this over here. It becomes negative. So I'm going to have n power 3 minus 1 divided by 3 all to the power of 3. And this equals 0. Now, as you can see, I have power 3 here, I have power 3 here, and there is minus sign separating there. So for us to expand this, I make use of this cubic identity. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So don't forget the fact that a equals n and b equals 1 over 3. So let's insert this for a and b right here. That means we are going to have for a minus b, we have n minus 1 over 3 times for a squared, we have n squared plus ab. We have n times 1 over 3 plus b squared. That is 1 over 3 to the power of 2. And this equals 0. So right now, we are going to have n minus 1 over 3 times n squared plus n times 1 is n over 3 plus this. We are going to take each of them. And raised to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 2 is 1 divided by 3 to the power of 2 is 9. And this equals 0. So from here, we can equate each of these brackets to 0. So the first one will be n minus 1 over 3 equals 0. Or we have this one n squared plus n over 3 plus 1 over 9 equals zero. So what we are going to do is to solve each of these equations. Let's start with this linear equation. If you have n minus one over three equals zero, that means I can isolate n by moving this negative one over three over here. So we are going to have n equals one over three. This is our n one. Now that's our first solution. The second solution will be for us to solve this quadratic equation. This is quadratic because the power of n here is 2. Now we have n power 2 plus n divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 9 equals 0. Now don't forget the fact that this is divided by 1 as well. So we find the common LCM. 1, 3, and 9. And the LCM here is 9. So you have 9 divided by 1. That is 9. 9 times n squared. That is 9n squared. Plus 9 divided by 3. That is 3. 3 times n. That is 3n plus 9 divided by 9, 1. 1 times 1, we have 1. And this equals 0. So what we are going to do is we are going to cross multiply. 
So we cross multiply this is over one. That means the nine here will multiply the zero that is zero. So we have nine n squared plus three n plus one equals zero. Remember the nine will multiply zero and we have zero. So this is the quadratic equation that we are going to solve. From here, we are going to compare this with the general quadratic formula, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And from here, our a equals nine, b equals three, and c equals one. Look at it here, equations here. Now we are going to make use of the formula now. And that formula, we are going to write it in respect to the variable, which is n. So we have n equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And from here we have n equals negative b, that is negative 3. So we have negative 3 plus or minus square root of b squared. 3 over 2 minus 4 times 9 times 1 divided by 2 times b. That is 2 times 9. Our a is 9. Don't forget. a is 9. So we see So our a is 9. So from here, we have n equals negative 3. This is plus or minus square root of. 3 squared here, this is 9 minus 4 times 9, that is 36, 36 times 1, we have 36 here, divided by 2 times 9, that is 18. So from here, we are going to have n equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36 is negative 27 divided by 18. So from here, we have n equals negative 3 plus or minus this minus here, so I can have square root of negative 1, which is this minus, then square root of 27, this 27 here, divided by 18. So from here, I have n equals negative 3 plus or minus Square root of this is i eta, that is i times, I can have this as 9 times 3 divided by 18. So from here, I will have n equals negative 3 plus or minus i times, I can separate this as square root of 9 times square root of 3 divided by 18. So from here, I will have n equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9 is 3 times root 3 divided by 18. So from here, I can have n equals this 3 cancel, this 3 cancel 18, 6. I have negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3 divided by 6. So, I can factor out 1 over 6. I can have my n equals 1 over 6 times negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So, I have two different complex solutions. This is plus and minus. So, you can have n equals 1 over 6 times negative 1 plus i root of 3. And also, n equals 1 over 6 times negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the complex solutions and we also have a real solution which is the first one that we solved, that's 1 over 3 here. So if you want to check, you simply make use of this real solution which is 1 over 3. You are just going to insert it back into this equation. So you have n equals 1 over 3 and you have n times n times n equals 1 over 27. So you have 
1 over 3 times 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 equals 1 over 27. 1 times 1 times 1, that is 1, by multiplying the numerator. And if you multiply the denominator, you have 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3. This is 27, and this equals 1 over 27. So that is it. Thank you.